well surgeon dr amir glani is there and today we are discussing an important investigation which is the t tube cholangiogram which is done after the operation of cholecystectomy especially its indications are cbd stone if there is any cbd structure if there is any stenosis or if there is any obstruction or if you evaluate the biliary system then you will order the t tube cholangiogram uh, first of all you are seeing on your screen this is the plain film without the contrast supine view and t shaped tube you are seeing on the screen i am zooming this out now and finally i am marking this so you can better uh, differentiate so i am marking with the red line this whitish tube this is the t tube and you are clearly seeing this that's it well now uh, the second image this is the t tube cholangiogram we have taken this picture after giving the contrast to the patient and you are clearly seeing that intrahepatic biliary system is there extra hepatic biliary system is there and t tube is in place and finally now i am editing this uh, picture so you can clearly identify all the structures there in this picture now i am marking all the findings there well now this is the left hepatic duct this is the right anterior right posterior and they both combine the right hepatic duct right hepatic duct and the left hepatic duct both they combine the common hepatic duct and they combine with the cystic duct and finally at the end they form the cbd that's the common bile duct and finally it enters into the duodenum in the second part at the ampulla of the water here i am marking this area this all area it's of the duodenum so you are seen clearly that contrast is going into the duodenum and now into the jejunum also so this was the spinal film and you can easily visualize how spine looks on the spine film it looks straight now i am raising all the structures there so look at the position of the spine it is if you like our content if you learned something from our videos then do subscribe by clicking on the red button below so thank you so much straight now the next cholangiogram that's the right lateral oblique view and you can easily identify this by the position of spine you can see how spine looks in this picture and i am marking you can see a slight tilt is there it is not straight first thing you will identify this and you will again see that cbd is a side of the spine and i am going to identify all the structures there and you are now clearly seeing that right left hepatic duct is there right anterior right posterior then right then they both combine to form the common hepatic duct and this structure this is the t tube and finally cystic duct it combines with a common hepatic duct to form the cbd and this is the cbd and finally at the end you are seeing that our contrast is spilling into the duodenum and some contrast is also spilling into the jejunum this part is jejunum exactly now the next image it's the left lateral oblique view uh, how you will identify that first of all you will see the position of the spine here and another thing you can remember you can see that cbd lies over the spine in the left lateral oblique view and here i am going to identify the cbd so you can identify in a clear way and this structure is the cbd basically and again uh, you are seeing clearly this is basically i am marking this this is the t tube again there is the left hepatic right anterior right posterior right and the common hepatic duct they both combine with the cystic duct you will not see here gallbladder as gallbladder has been removed in this case and we ordered this investigation we place t tube after the gallbladder has been removed 
so you will not see there so don't worry about <laughs> this again if there is any problem you will see the filling defects there there might be the remaining stone in the CBD so here again you are seeing in this uh, video that some of the contrast is spilling into the duodenum and the jejunum also this is jejunum and this is duodenum so that's it so finally at the end I must tell you that if the returned stone in the above case is there like in the CBD if stone is uh, picked up then what will you do you will order the you will do the ERCB basically it has been previously explained by me in another video the, it, that was a complete demonstration of this video and then you will remove or you can wait for the four to six weeks then you will remove the stone by the cholidocoscope if multiple returned uh, stones are there in the CBD then you have the option of Kolidoko didn't me. So finally that's it for today. I hope you have learned something from this video. So thank you so much and if you like our content, if you have understood something from this video, then do subscribe our channel and do support this big cause.